What do you want and why? I'd like to really stress the importance of knowing what you want. Because when you don't know what you want and you don't know why you want what you want, you end up manifesting in circles, never being satisfied. So when you identify something that you would like to manifest, even if we're not talking about manifesting, let's say you're purely physically, materially minded and you're going to go out and get a better job, for example. Why? Why do you want the thing that you want? Does it hold value in and of itself? Or is it a means to an end? Let's pretend that you're the last person in the world. No one else exists. Does money hold any value in that situation? Where would you spend it? So once you go down the rabbit hole of asking why, why do I want what I want? Why is that important? Why, why, why down the line? It can get difficult because it requires you to let go of what you thought you want, of what you maybe even worshipped for years. Let's say since you were a kid, you wanted to be rich. Well, why? What hole are you filling? What will that lead to? Do you think that will give you power? Why do you want power? Do you feel unloved? Do you feel you need to take what you want from people? Do you feel you have to dominate others in order for them to respect you? Maybe you want to be rich because you just want freedom. Why do you not feel free? What other paths could you take towards freedom? A more direct path, a more satisfying path. Often people tend to manifest the same handful of things over and over. Money, love. Let's talk about love. Let's pretend you have an admirer. Someone who's obsessed with you, but the feeling is not mutual. Does that relationship hold any value? You have love. You wanted love. Someone loves you, but you don't love them. I think a lot of us have been in that situation and it's not pleasant. So what you really want is not love. You want to love. Now, ideally you'll receive that love in return, but I put it to you that if you are truly loving freely with your whole heart, accepting, then that love will come to you anyway. So as an exercise, Next time you identify something that you want, or you're sitting at home and you're going, oh, I really, I'm yearning. Whenever you yearn, whenever you crave for something that you feel you don't have, I want you to picture yourself in the void, endless black nothingness. You're floating in the void. You're the only thing that exists. You're the only thing that has value. Let's say you want to manifest money. You're floating in the void. Is money any use to you? What are you going to do with that money? Why do you want the money? Try not to think of this as talking yourself out of wanting what you want or wanting at all. Instead, try to think of it as refining. If you want money because you believe it will make you feel powerful, in control, maybe even loved. That's the long way around. Take the direct path. 
Don't sweat the details. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. I put it to you that the reason you want what you want is because you believe that what you really want is unattainable. If you want respect somewhere along the line, maybe you picked up the belief that respect is only given to those with wealth, with money, assets, those who appear to be in control, to have a lot in this material world. But all you've done is convince yourself that the most difficult solution is the only solution. Open yourself up to shortcuts.